Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you this awesome fireworks design. This design is perfect for 4th of July and I've been wanting to do this design for a long time. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Red on the pointer finger, blue on the ring finger, white on the thumb, middle finger, and your pinky. And what I have done is apply a lip balm that I no longer use on the thumb where I'm planning to do the water marble. This way you can easily clean off those areas. So I really find that's a great way to protect your nails. Go ahead and build up the bullseye. Now I am just anchoring the polish to the side of the cup so when you draw your design it's not gonna move. There's the bullseye and let's go ahead and do our design. For this design, we're gonna draw like a lot of uh, little petals because the more petals you draw, the nicer it's gonna come out. So you do want to work quite fast for this design because as you can tell later on, the polish will start to dry and your petals are not gonna be as nice. So you do wanna work very fast. In general, for water marbles, you definitely wanna work really fast. So now you're gonna go ahead and swirl the outer circle as you can see what I'm doing right now. And go to the inner circle where the blue is at and just swirl again to create that nice firework-like design. So now you don't have to worry about going fast. Now you can go ahead and take your time and just uh, take your thumb and make sure you position it right and then go ahead and uh, aim for the water and you want to get that nice firework right in the center of your nail. Keep the thumb under water while you clean up the excess nail polish and you really want to clean it off really well so that it doesn't stick to your design and just go ahead and uh, slowly lift that thumb out from the water and uh, that is your design. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the design that I did for the middle finger and I really think the middle finger came out a lot better but I mean I had a lot of trouble with this design and as you can see here I am doing exactly the same as the last design and I do want to mention that you want to quickly wipe off the tooth peg for every petal you draw because you really want that tip to stay really nice and sharp so it will give you the best kind of look possible. So here I am again swirling the design to create that really nice firework design and uh, this one actually came out a little bit better than the thumb because it had more of the white. So go ahead and aim for the firework and make sure that it's as center as possible. Dip in and clean up the surface and go ahead and slowly lift your finger from the water and there is that design. As I said before, I had a really tough time with this design. Um, I am going to show you one of my failed attempts. I actually have a, a quite a lot of failed attempts for this design, but I am going to show you this one. As you can see, I'm doing exactly the same thing as I described in the previous two um, fireworks, but somehow it just ended up not uh, looking great and I think the main reason is the center is really not looking sharp and for this design you really want the center to look as best as possible so there is all those petals and I am doing a swirl and I believe for this I actually try to make it look even more intricate by doing three different swirls and it still ended up not looking great and uh, I actually ended up dipping my thumb into this so I had to redo the thumb which I will show you the failed thumb water marble. Add a white dot to the pointer and the ring finger and add a red dot to the pinky to finish off the design. I really hope you guys enjoy watching today's design.